Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Well, a slow-moving and stubborn offshore storm system continues to affect our weather. It's, it's nothing really significant, but rain and snow showers continue this afternoon and this evening, showing up well in live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and uh, kind of well covered here in green. And it's really been kind of a, a very wet, slushy kind of a snowflake mixed with raindrops. The higher elevations has been mostly... Uh, a wet snow, and then you get into the lower elevations and along the coastal plain, there's been more in the way of raindrops mixing in. As we get deeper into the night and as temperatures tend to cool off a little more, uh, some of the raindrops will transition back over to those wet snowflakes. So we'll continue to watch this and track it throughout the evening hours and overnight. The clouds are stubborn to leave, still going with big changes uh, by the upcoming weekend, finally. And those changes that you'll like. We'll show you that in just a second. Downtown Providence, you can see some wet snowflakes kind of sticking to the camera lens right now. Kind of gray, chilly, and raw. 36. In fact, the wind chill is only 28. North wind at 13. Of course, the humidity on the high side, close to 90%. 34 in Smithfield. Mid-30s along the south shore in Bedford at 34. Newport 36 and westerly checking in with actually uh, rain showers rather than snow showers and a temperature now at 37. The storm itself is actually uh, well offshore, but its influence is far-reaching, well to the uh, west, and you can see all this precipitation from down east Maine pinwheeling across New England. So we'll keep this uh, off and on throughout the entire night. So for this evening, it, essentially it's a mixture right now. As it gets a little cold, it'll be more in the way of uh, flurries and some snow showers. And notice temperatures are above freezing, so there's nothing uh, sticking to the ground. Then later tonight, just scattered flurries, temperatures dropping down to about 32 degrees by 5 o'clock in the morning. We'll start with a lot of clouds all throughout the morning hours tomorrow. Kids heading out to school, heading out to work. Perhaps a few leftover flurries, temperature at 32. It'll be a slow process, but we'll start to see the clouds break, but probably not until late afternoon. So we're not painting any peekaboo sun here until mid to late afternoon towards the evening, 5 o'clock, partly sunny skies, and a temperature around 40. Here it is in more detail, city by city and town by town, with mostly cloudy skies for your Friday, but dry the second half of the day, and any sunshine uh, would be partial and reserved for more than likely late afternoon and early evening. Temps in the uh, upper 30s to low 40s, low 40s across the Cape and the islands with a north breeze at 15 to 25. The big change for the weekend, finally, sunshine. I mean, real nice, and temperatures a lot warmer, too. How does 45 to 50 sound? Looking good, so a nice weekend. And really, next week, I don't see any big storms here. I mean, a couple of rain and snow showers on Monday night. Tuesday and Wednesday look fine. The chance for some snow and rain later on Thursday with temperatures in the uh, middle 40s. So give it time. By we, the time we get to Friday evening, things are much better. WPRI.com. And obviously two thumbs up for the uh, weekend, Saturday and Sunday. And we have nothing but patience. Yes. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> that, really. that, that ended three weeks ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Coming up on Eyewitness.